everyone welcome back today is going to be a vlogging day um i have a day off i actually have a few days off <laughs> have some other like social media obligations and things that i had committed to and it just seemed like a good time or a good week to um work on some external projects not really external projects my projects <laughs> But anyway, so this morning I have a breakfast with my friend Kate. I have not done anything social outside of work and family in a year and three months, a year and four months. I don't even know how long it's been, but it's kind of exciting to get back out and, and do those things. We're actually going to a local diner for breakfast and then I have a couple of errands to run. I really want to get to Michael's because I need some undo. If you don't know what undo is, it's awesome for removing stickers from paper without leaving any sort of residue and your stickers still say sticky for the most part. But um, I don't have any left and I haven't had any for quite a while and the last time I went to Michael's they didn't have any um, and there's also a couple of other things that I wanted to look at and then I need to come back because I am doing an Instagram live with Shantae Grant. I'm so excited about that. If you are not familiar with who she is, I will leave her Instagram handle down in the description. But we're going to talk about being intentional with our routines and with planning and I'm just I'm excited to do that sort of stuff. Like I love collaborating with other people. Um, and it just, it just feels good. It, I do love connecting with other people. It's one of the things that really just truly makes me happy. So that's what's on the agenda today. Yesterday I spent the majority of the day cleaning and like I cleaned our bathroom, like our master bathroom, because it was, it was pretty bad. <laughs> like I, dread cleaning our shower because of the hard water buildup on the glass is not is not cute it's not fun to scrub it and normally I have to get in there with like shorts on because I get in the shower <laughs> to clean it and um yeah I had to clean it twice because the hard water just like the spots did not want to come off and then I just took a shower this morning and I looked at the glass and I was like and it's back <laughs> So that's that's pretty much it. Nathan has the day off from work, so he'll be here. Yesterday he had the day off too, and um, he did not wake up till 11 o'clock. I was like, I don't ever remember sleeping in that late when I was young. Er. <laughs> um, Jesse just left for work. Kayla is headed out to work. So really, it's just me and Nathan. And for the most part, he just hangs out in his room and does either video game stuff, watching movies, things like that. Typical teenager just comes out for food and then goes right back into his cave. <laughs> first things first, I want to get started with planning out my day in my daily planner. So let's go do that. So planning for the day is done. I always feel so much more better, like more better. Oh my God. I always feel better when I have my plans written out for the day. Like I just, I know what to expect and what I need to focus on. So that is done. I am going to throw our laundry in the washer while I get ready. <laughs> And I've kind of been letting my hair dry at least to like the halfway point before I take a blow dryer or a straightener or anything to it because I feel like that just adds a lot more stress to the hair to try to dry it being completely wet. So that'll kind of be like my multitasking for the morning is getting ready and the laundry getting done at the same time. And then the clothes should be done in the washer before I leave so I can switch them over to the dryer. Then when I come back, it just has to be put away. And we all know that that's not gonna happen for seven to 10 business days. Mm -hmm. All right, I am ready to go to go get breakfast. I'm so hungry, like I started to get a little bit shaky. I take a very, not very, but a higher than normal dosage of thyroid medication. Um, because if you're new around here, I don't have a thyroid, I lost it due to cancer. But um, it, if I don't eat after a certain amount of time after taking the medication, I can't eat right away, but 
after about two hours, I my body is like, oh my God, <laughs> eat something. So I had like a half a banana because I was like, that should help my blood sugar a little bit. Um, and I was like, I know I'm gonna eat soon, so don't overdo it. So I had that. I also put together a little gift for my friend Kate because it is also her birthday. And she just got engaged, so I was like, you're gonna need some planner things. <laughs> so I um, put together a little package of stuff for her. I I love gifting people planner things, either one, because they're probably not a part of the planner community and I would like to convert them and bring them over, <laughs> or my friend Kate, I actually met through the planner community. Um, she's always been local to me and uh, we met through some local planner meetups and it's it's been great to just have a local friend that also gets your planner obsession. So um, I'm just excited to reconnect with her and I cannot hold my camera for the life of me. That's what happens when you don't vlog very often. <laughs> On that note, I don't want to be late for breakfast because one, I'm hungry and I, I don't like being late. So off to breakfast I go and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, so we are done with brunch. It was awesome. I didn't realize that I needed to like have that human interaction like so much. Something that wasn't work related or family related, just hanging out with a good friend. And I think we talked for like two hours <laughs> The waitress kept coming back and was like, do you need anything else? Like, and it wasn't packed, so it's not like people were waiting for tables or anything like that, but um, it was just good. I think I had three cups of coffee, which was like, I do not need coffee for the rest of the damn day. I just left Michael's. I walked out of there with everything I didn't need and none of the stuff that I actually needed, so they didn't have undo. I don't know what the deal is with that, so I'm gonna have to order it online, which is not what I wanted to do, but it is what it is. Um, they've been out of it for a really long time. I just, I don't, I don't know what's going on with Michaels and Undo, but they don't have it. So I did walk out with a portable sewing machine. <laughs> I'm even questioning myself at this point, but I have been, you know, sort of diving into the whole like memory keeping situation and there's always like some creative projects that I want to work on where embellishments are sewn onto the pages and I've always thought that that was really cool and unique. I was like, I bet they're doing that with a portable sewing machine. Like who's really pulling out their giant sewing machine? I don't know. I don't have a regular sewing machine to begin with. I haven't sewed anything with a machine in a very very long time my grandmother was a seamstress and that's about the extent of my sewing capabilities i'm pretty sure the only reason why i know how to sew a button is because of her um so yeah i i that was definitely like i don't need this but i know that i'm never I don't frequent Michael's enough to be like, I'm gonna go here specifically for that. I saw that they had it and I was just like, this this is kind of what I was looking for. I got some Sharpie markers, the kind that I used to write on my Chrissy and Designs stickers because the ones that I have are several years old, so I just grabbed a two pack of those, probably well overpriced at Michael's, but they, I, I was there. Um, but I love using these on vinyl stickers like uh, CAD and um, Cricut Paper Co. Stickers like that, also great on the cloth and paper uh, page flags. And of course, someone has to park right in front of me. Why? <laughs> All right, so anyway, that's hella awkward. Um, I grabbed two happy planners. Y'all are just gonna have to deal with a really weird angle right now. I grabbed two happy planners. I'm not sure what I was thinking. It's like they pump some stuff into the air like they do at Disney. They do the same thing at Michael's. I'm thoroughly convinced of that where you just like, I I haven't been here in forever. That, that's gonna be my excuse. But anyway, the thing that I wanted was a monthly planner. Um, I have, there's another car like like right next to me. Is there something on my car that says, please park really far away and right, I'll be right back. I totally just up and moved my car. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I am parked so far away, but for some reason there was instantly a car in front of me and one right next to me. And I was like, I, I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> anyway, back to the planner. I did get a, um, this is a vertical weekly. 
I do not intend to use all of the parts of this. So I got this in a monthly um, happy planner. I can't even think right now. I'm so flustered. <laughs> Anyway, the point is to take it apart and put it together and make a content planner for myself. In the past, I have always used like a monthly planner, like a monthly deluxe from Erin Condren, and that worked really, really well for me. The thing that I didn't like about it was that I couldn't move pages around as needed, and I feel like I might be able to do this, and it's the most inexpensive way to make that happen. They were 50% off, so each planner was $16. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's not going to get much cheaper than this. I don't mind the discs. I've used discs before, like from cloth and paper and things like that. But I know that I needed a bigger size. I know that I wanted a monthly. And I know that I wanted notes pages and paper that I just didn't feel guilty about, like scribbling ideas and content things, all of that. And it just... Um, it was getting too expensive looking at other brands so we'll see how this works out plus i really love the colorful discs on this one i never thought that i would say that but for content purposes i think that this is going to be really really cute right, so i am back home and in the office i am going to work on taking some notes to be a little bit more prepared for this live i hate going into things just winging it all the time i mean sometimes i can wing it just fine but um it's it's really best if I just feel a little bit more prepared plus it helps calm me down I let the dogs outside Nathan's awake glued to his computer <laughs> um, but yeah that that's about it for this afternoon my clothes are moved over to the dryer I need to fold those later maybe I I, I don't want to but <laughs> like the chore I hate the most but yeah I want to get some of these notes taken I was kind of in the car thinking to myself some some of the topics that I wanted to discuss and I feel like that's all good and well until I hop on a live and then I draw a blank and I'm just like that's not even what I wanted to say that that is it so far for this afternoon so I'm gonna get to work and I've got all my notes ready for the live and I changed into a t-shirt because hormones are real and I I had to change <laughs> I was like burning up I made sure to turn down the air conditioning it is it is so humid here you guys it's it's rough it's rough but um I wanted to show you guys what I am doing with these happy planners or what what my intention is <laughs> To do with these happy planners i'm already like what what am i doing but i think what really got me were these like colorful discs i think that they're so cute and so fun i don't know if it's something that i'd ever use on my own i don't know but let me turn the camera on and i can show you guys what what i'm thinking here all right so this one is an 18 month vertical layout I want to keep the discs of this one the cover of this one but I'm going to flip it inside out because I love it it's got like the almost reminds me of happy plan or happy stripes right am I imagining things I think it's okay we're just gonna leave that alone I like the dividers in this planner better but I don't need the weeks so it has the month view it has these year at a glance uh, pages I prefer the tabs or the dashboard what it, what is this page <laughs> the monthly <laughs> the monthly page on this i like how cute they are um i don't know i i really like them there's one in here i think it's may of next year that has like the planner girl thing i mean i really wish that they would have just left like the planner and not put a gender on there but i mean uh you know um, so I, like I said, I like the divider pages. I think that's the word I was looking for. I love the divider pages, but I won't be using the weekly pages. So I'm going to take those out. I got this monthly planner and there are pages in here that I'm going to move over. See, I don't like any of that stuff. There is like this sort of dashboard page. I think when you go into the month view, see, I, I was like scrambling in the store. Like, yeah, there's none of that because it's, you know, you have the month view and then it goes right into the week. And at the end of a month, you get kind of one dashboard page. I'm not a very like fluent person in Happy Planner, but I know that I wanted 
this page, it has habits on here that I can use for my social media, notes, check it off, all that stuff. So I wanna use this page over there, this page, and then add in some additional notes pages, but there's a lot of space in here. I need lined notes pages. You get like two per month. Um, but I believe somewhere in my stash downstairs in my planner cabinet, I have more lined pages. So that's what I'm gonna do is add some more lined pages for the notes that I'm gonna take and things like that. So it's basically taking like the, the guts of this, putting it in with that one, having these discs, using this cover, it's gonna come together. And this is my little handheld sewing machine situation that I didn't need, but I got it anyway. Um, I wish if I can find a picture, I'll pop it in here and show you guys exactly what concept <laughs> I'm talking about so that you're not like, you really didn't need that sewing machine, you guys. I, I did, trust me. If you're a memory keeper, yes, you need this. All right, I am all set up for my live. This is what <laughs> going live looks like, at least for me. Um, on Instagram, I have my computer right here with some notes. My phone, I don't know which way I'm po pointing. My ring light, my ring light actually has a phone stand on it, but sometimes my, um, our phone holder, sometimes my phone, it seems a little heavy the way that I like it facing. So um, I have to kind of watch out because sometimes it'll lean too far forward and the whole light will come crashing down. So I just gotta kind of get creative. I love this little um, tripod. It's like a table tripod here. I do have it in my Amazon shop, but I love this thing so, so much. Super convenient, but this, <laughs> This is my setup. All right, I am done. I don't know what that noise was from my dog, but I am done with the live. That was single-handedly one of the best lives I have ever participated in. Shantae is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to talking about starting your day with intention, habits, routines, um, just, I, I was, when I was done, I was like, I need to go back and watch my own live <laughs> just to take notes because, you know, when you're live, you're not, taking notes you're focusing on the conversation but it was it was so good and I love conversations like that so it ended up being on my Instagram it was kind of funny because we were DMing and she was like I'm ready when you are and I was like oh wait we're doing this on my Instagram <laughs> so it is actually over on my Instagram on the little IGTV tab so yeah check it out if you are interested this is normally the time of day it's about 3 30 now that I would have like my cup of coffee, take a little bit of a break, but because I had so much coffee at breakfast or brunch, whatever you wanna call it, I am going to not have coffee. I'm going to hydrate with some water and yeah, maybe unplug for a little bit, read, because I didn't do any reading this morning like I had intended to do. Um, yeah, and just chill out, maybe do some dishes. Probably not. <laughs> okay, so now that it hasn't rained for like 17 hours, maybe 15 hours, we went outside and did yard work and oh my God, the humidity is so bad. I'm going to get some water and put my feet up and wipe off this makeup that is now mixed in thoroughly with sweat. All right, now that I've had a bit of time to cool off. I've got dinner on the stove. I'm making some spaghetti. I also have a Stitch Fix box to go through here. Um, I honestly don't know that I'm gonna keep much from this box. They sent like a really cute black blouse. Okay, this one I might keep. Um, but there's two navy blue blouses. I've already gotten a few of those from them, so I'm not sure that I'm gonna keep those. But one thing that I might keep are these white jeans. Why? Because I would never in a million years buy white jeans for myself. Just never. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to seek buying white jeans. I'm terrified of them, but I figured this was a sign to step out of my comfort zone and give them a try. So when I try them on, I'm sure I will share probably over on, on Instagram. But yeah, it might just be the black shirt and it's got like some really, really pretty, I'm not, I'm not being a good vlogger right now, but it's got some pretty details on the back there that I think would be really nice to go with either the white jeans or just some other jeans. So that is all. I feel like I need a gallon of water. <laughs> all right, we are already done with dinner. I'm up in the office. I have a big mess to clean up, especially from going live and just having like crap everywhere. Crap is everywhere. Um, but anyway. I just finished re-organizing um, my 
happy planner and what I did was I literally just had to switch out the guts when I sat both planners next to each other because I wanted to keep these discs and this cover I just had to take the weeks out of this and put like the monthly like almost like productivity pages that they had in there so they literally just look like like this like these task list type of things and yeah for 16 bucks I'm not mad I mean I know I bought two planners but <laughs> one I can give away and um, yeah or just like gift it to a friend someone who wants to try a happy planner with weekly vertical pages so I'm not too worried about that but I am excited about this reason being is I have been trying um, some sort of like digital content planning for a couple of months now and it's just not for me I may use it as sort of like a backup to my handwritten system but I love to take a lot of notes and I love to track a lot of things and again I know that you can do that all on a computer it's just not my jam um, I know that there are apps all that stuff I do track expenses like on an excel sheet because I did learn last year at tax time <laughs> that that was helpful um, and I'm starting off much more organized than I was last year. So that makes me really happy. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a closer look of what I was talking about because I realized just holding it up doesn't do it justice. So you just have like the hello um, page and then the year at a glance. And I didn't have to change any of this. And then you have like your other year at a glance pages that look like this. And then when you get to the month view, because this is an 18 month planner, you have this page that has your notes and ideas, birthdays and things like that. Um, and then what the monthly end ends up looking like is you have your month on two pages. Then the monthly has this sort of monthly goals, check it off. My favorite thing are these little habit trackers right here, which I think would be helpful for managing content and tracking things that I wanna track throughout the month. Then you have a jot it down area, your top priorities, what you're thankful for, and then you have these daily tasks, which you don't necessarily have to do every day, but you can, you know, I like that there's no headers so that you can kind of use it how you want to, and that just continues, and then you have a few pages of that, and then you have a couple of lined pages, and then the dashboard for the following month, so that's an up-close look of it. So that is it for today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. I also hope that this vlog is not an hour long for just a day, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.